Hello, all you coin collectors out there, and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today, we're going to take a look at some 1952 United States pennies. And this one you see in front of you, of course, is the Denver Mint with the D here. And this is the one that, if you're looking for era coins in the 52, uh, that's one you might want to look at the most. And this is the 52 Philly, uh, and it's a it, no mint mark on 52 for Philadelphia. And then down here we find the uh, 1952S, the San Francisco mint mark. And this one has some era coins too. But first let's take a look at the 52D and just what we're looking for for looking for errors. Um, one of the first things you look for, of course, is uh, looking at the rim. And this one doesn't look like it has any uh, major errors around the rim. And then you look at the D. In the 1952, sometimes you would find a D that looked like it was put on top of an S or repunched. I'm not sure if it was because the D got bled down. Uh, and so right underneath the D, you'd be able to see that. We can't see any of that here. Uh, here's another D. Again, it's this is a kind of a messy punch, but it's still um, not what we're looking for. And if we look at the rim of this one, again, we're not seeing anything. Uh, this is a D, so see how this D is so much more open than this D, and it, that just flattens out over time. That's not an issue either. And this, the fact that the two's kind of worn down, that's just par for the course. Nothing big going on here. Another thing you look for, some of the coins have a crack in the head up here of Lincoln. Um, it's a pretty rare one that has the die crack, but you always look for those too. Uh, there's another D. And you can see this is a very well-defined D. And again, no crack and no rim issues. Another D here. And we're just going to go through all these Ds first. And again, nothing. Um, we see very few errors that have anything to do with the back of these coins. So I'm not even going to look at them right now. See how that kind of five kind of almost drags down a little bit, but that's not enough to make it an error coin. And of course, the Liberty's touching pretty badly there. There's another D, and finally there's the last D, and we can see this one has a little bit of a, probably just the way it was punched, just a little bit of an indentation there, but it's not on top of anything else, so that's not going to be anything for us. Now here's the 52 Philly, and sometimes you'll see a mark like this and you'll say, oh, that's a die crack, but it's not. If we follow this coin up, we see something hit it down here at the bottom and scratched it all the way up through. So this has nothing to do with the die crack. This is certainly a post-mint uh, defect. Well, it's not a defect. It's a post-mint incident or accident. 52 plane, and there's nothing down here. Sometimes you'll find a really faint S, but this is not that coin. Again, and we're looking at the rim, looking for die cracks, not seeing anything. This one looks like it just got really in some kind of corrosive material. But that's nothing uh, that we can uh, look at. Oh, this one. Look how defined this one is. Just You can really tell the difference when you get a good defined one and uh, versus the other ones after you look at them for a while. This one, another 52. N another nothing on that one that I could see. Another 52 Philly, nothing you can see on that one. 52, nothing on that one. And 52... Well, it's a little funky down in here, but it's not enough to... Let's see if we can see the VDB. We can. So Victor David Brenner uh, was the engraver of this coin, and you can see his initials right down here at the bottom of these coins. And sometimes if you get it just right, you can actually read it very well just by your eye. So that's all the Philadelphia Mint ones. And then, of course, we have the 1952 S. Now remember that in 1952, the S was not a mint coin. I'm uh, not a proof coin. It was a minted coin, but it wasn't a proof coin. In 52, they just made um, uh, them at the San Francisco Mint, as well as the Denver and Philadelphia. turns out that the San Francisco Mint was not the lowest producer in 1952 either. Philadelphia was. So at Philadelphia, with a plain mint mark, this one, they made 71.6 million, 52. At the San Francisco Mint, they made 96 million, so 71 million, 96 million, 
And then, of course, at the Denver Mint, they just overdid themselves in 1952. They made $252.5 million. So uh, almost three and a half times as many um, Ds as planes and about uh, two and a half times as many Ds as Ss. So that's what we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Now remember this is, of course, a, a copper coin or bronze coin um, with 98% uh, copper. It's 3.11 grams in 19 millimeters in diameter and 1.4 millimeters in thickness. They made this coin, let's take a look at the back because uh, they made this coin from 1909 until 1958. And this is the wheat scent reverse. And there's our wheat scent reverses. All right, have a great day from DC Coin World International Coin Channel.